We're Rainy Day Dreamers, and Jimena has brought home her school band instrument. She's going to tell you what it's like to be the only girl in her grade playing the... Tuba! Rainy Day Dreamers! So, Jimena, what made you choose the tuba? I chose it because it's like hand farting. Well, that's a good reason. Um, as I remember, when we went to the instrument day at your middle school where you get to try out different instruments, you happened to be particularly good at this one, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Out of like the one out of five, I got a five. I also got a five on the saxophone, but I hate things like tugging on my neck, so. Right, she didn't want to have to wear that, so. The tuba, because this is so much easier to carry around. This uh, tuba is actually not her school tuba. She has two tubas. Because it's so large, it's hard to transport. She can't take it on the school bus, so she has a home tuba and she has a school tuba, right? Yep. Which is the nicer of them, because this is really scratched up and banged up. How's the one you have at school, the same? A little less scratched up, but yeah, pretty much the same. Now, you were telling me about the tuba. This, this actual tube is how long? Uh, at least 30 feet. 30 feet, so when you blow the air, it has to go through 30 feet of tube to come out. That's why you have to have big breath to make it work, right? Yeah. And that's your special skill. Okay, now, um, go ahead. The, by just like weird fact, uh, well not weird, but uh, pushing down the valves, yes. uh, that's just adding more pipe. Oh, it runs it through another piece of pipe, okay. So, so to make sounds, you need another piece, right? And the mouthpiece. Because I see you keep poking yourself in the eye with this piece of metal right here. Okay. Yeah, this is a mouthpiece receiver. Mouthpiece receiver. Okay. So let's um, see what you got here. So this is just like the case for it. Okay. So this mouthpiece is just yours because this is where all the spit collects. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Show us what you do with it. Okay. So you just, you know, of course, that one in and just like turn it tiny right because if you do it like then you'll never get it up. Oh, okay. Okay, so you like hold it there uh -huh. and here, so like your fingers. So I'll just play an F. Okay. Okay. This is what we get to hear all the time in the house now. Okay. <laughs> Play the, play the different notes that you can. Please. Okay, so that was F. I'll play E flat, which okay. is the first valve down. Okay. So adding a little bit more. <laughs> By the way, I'm not too good at this yet, so. Just no, you've only yeah, been doing a couple weeks. So what's so next? D. First and second valve down. sounded different than the, the E flat. Lower. I'm going down the scale. Mm. And then C, which is the first and third valve. Okay. <laughs> that changed part way through, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, we're like a learning part of like the Iron Man song or something. From the movie, the Iron Man movie series? I think so. Oh, you're going to play something for us. Cool. It's only a few notes. It's like a C, E, E, F, F. Okay. <coughs> See if you can recognize this tune. Good. <laughs> I didn't recognize it, but I don't know that movie's theme song. And that was pretty poorly, okay. but that was like the best thing to do. Okay. Have you been enjoying playing the tuba? Yes. You, you still think it's a great instrument? Yes. Have you had to stand up and walk around and play with it? Nope. Are you going to do that, or that's only when you get like to high school? Um, he said that we might go walking around the library bothering classes, you know, going... <laughs> you know, whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... If you stay with the tuba and you go on to high school, you could be in the marching band. Yep. Are you interested in that? Do you think it'd be cool to be out in the marching band at the football games with the uniform and the marching and the turning left and playing the instrument at the same time? Sure. Maybe we'll get to see a video of her doing that in a few years. I've got uh, Jimena's various supplies that she needs to maintain her tuba. And this is a valve oil, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just learned today how to do your valve maintenance. Yeah, because like it can get like stuck and like today um, at school, like it was stuck and it was down and I couldn't get it up. But mm. he said we should do it like once a week. So, okay. 
you know, you unscrew this. Mm -hmm. Oh, the whole thing comes out? You don't take the entire thing out. Okay. Would you mind? Sure. I accidentally took the entire thing out. <laughs> okay, I see it running down. Okay. And then you turn the top part right until you can put it until you can push it down like that. Okay. And then you go and screw this. Okay. On. If you have questions for Jimena about tuba playing, please ask them in the comments down below. I have one more question to ask you about today, and we'll try to follow up later in the year when she can play us a little bit more of a tune. My question is, when you're playing this, you must spit a lot. Yeah. But where does it all go? I'm afraid to ask. Oh, here. Oh, is that the spit valve? Oh, why are you opening it? Does the stuff just pour out normally? If you've been playing it for a while, but like I emptied it out like a couple days ago, so. Oh, so it sits in there for more than a day at a time? Well, it has to be enough to drip out. Okay. That answers my question. All right, Pierre, look at your adoring fans out there. This is Pierre. If you saw the pet treat shooter or um, uh, the video where Pierre got his first fan mail. Over there, the people are over here. Okay. He looked like a huge fluff ball, and people said, oh, you have such a large dog. Well, let's stand up and show everybody, Pierre. Come on. Here we go. He doesn't like being on the desk because it's so slippery. This is his actual size without the ton of fur. We're, we're trying to get him to stand up so you can see him better, but he's doing a, um, a non-violent passive resistance. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear me say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's Pierre, the star that he is. We just wanted you to see him in his shaved state. Um, in another month and a half, he'll be looking like the giant furball all over again. Thank you for sharing about your tuba. Glad you're having a good year of the tuba. Again, if you have questions for Jimena, you can ask them down below. We'll respond in a future video or in the comment box here. Roxana is, has something interesting going on in her school. She's actually in a class. This is the first time it's being taught in Texas and so um, I'm going to bring her in for an interview soon so she can tell you all about it. You can keep checking back for that video or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up and you will join, join the dream, dream team. team. It's raining at our house, is it raining where you are? Try the day to stay in and play or eat a big chocolate bar. Reoxygenate your brain that's forgotten both how to play and how to breathe.